Yeah, so once I mentioned it to the, the counselor that I feel like she's like using um, her diagnosis mm -hmm. kind of to manipulate me, mm -hmm. there was like a point in time where I was being gaslit. Like, so when she does this, uh, how do you feel about it? And do you blame her for this? And do you blame her for that? And Is I, that what the therapist that's what the, saying to you? That's what the therapist said. In yeah. the open conversation you guys were having? Yes. With her in the room. Uh, absolutely. But yeah. these were also exercises she wasn't being a part of. It took a while for um, the therapist to catch on to what was going on. Uh, yeah, so she... Mental health Monday. 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 Mental health while he was here and we having this conversation about couples therapy. Count how many cards you got? Should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight? Yeah, we're coming in. Alright, you wanna throw out the one at the top or the bottom? Hey man, you tilt your cards. You wanna throw out the ones at the top or the bottom? Throw that one out. Okay. So that was the bottom, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll throw out mine's at the bottom too. Next up we saw this card. This table is not stable today. Mm -hmm. That is a six, right? Mm -hmm. That line is at the bottom. That's a, yeah, that's a that's six. A six. Draw the next go, right? Uh, yeah, I just gotta put a card down. And I'll put that one down. Two, three, four. No, one go, if I got the same color, I can put that down, right, too. I think that's how they was doing it. I somehow eight, eight cards. Yeah, you can put down the same color or number. Uh, my turn? Yeah. Yeah, I got six. On me. All right, man, what are the pros and cons of couples therapy? <clears throat> pros and cons. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I say the pros are you guys um, putting everything on the table that you're dealing with that you need, that um, you haven't been able to solve. You know, when you're in a relationship, you get comfortable with your partner. Um, you might take them for granted. They may take you for granted. Mm -hmm. Uh, they might not hear certain things that you're saying and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, going to therapy can help have a mediator in between who can help bridge the gap, if you will. i say that's the pros. Um, What's the con? The con. Oh, yeah. The <coughs> cons, I would say, mm -hmm. would sure. be... No, I'm still, I'm still. The cons, I think, mm -hmm. would be um, there's like a like a stigma, if you will, with couples therapy for men. Okay, right. Should it, I go? Hold on, me. What we got? We got yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a stigma for men because mm -hmm. I think there's a little bias that when men go. Uh, when men go, it's a little bias against them. Like men don't get it done or men don't want to get it done? That men are like at fault in whatever the issue is that's going on within the relationship. Really? Yeah. That is unfortunate. Um, Do you think that comes from the generation of men before us or does it come from how we're currently viewed in society? I think it's a societal thing mm -hmm. um Sugar. yeah i think it's a societal thing mm -hmm. um 
That yellow. You, yellow, okay. Where should I go? Oh um, yeah, I say, I say it's a societal thing that um, men are viewed a certain way and you know, uh, if anything happens in a relationship, it was probably the man's fault. Mm -hmm. um, Who don't know how? Oh, damn. That boy good. <laughs> <laughs> that boy good. I had some misses in there, yeah, but that boy good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, like in my instance, I noticed so that- this is your experience with couples there. Absolutely, right. absolutely. You wanna tell us what the situation was? Um. So in that relationship mm -hmm. between you my and my partner at the time, uh -huh. my um, ex-wife, she always recommended couples therapy. And we, so you guys were married. We were married. Yeah. Right. So yeah. so we went to therapy um, before marriage mm -hmm. and during marriage. How old were you guys when you got married? What was that like? Twenty three. Ooh. Yeah, I was like twenty three. Uh, Generation-wise, in your family, is that seen as young or is that seen as just about right? That's just about right. All of us, uh -huh. me, all my cousins, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're all married right around the same time. Yeah, yeah my friends. So that was pretty normal mm -hmm. for us. Um, yeah, so we went to couples therapy before yeah. we got married, and after we got married. Now I so was was before concerns, or was it just? Traditionally speaking, the church that you go to, you got to make sure to go to th couples therapy to see, like, is this really what we want to do? Because I know they they have that, right? Like, Yeah, it's a traditional thing for sure. Before marriage, hey, Absolutely. let's have you sit down with the pastor, I'm not mistaken, or sit down with the pastor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and really see, like, hey, man, do you guys really want to do this? Yeah. Um, no, nah, I didn't want to do it, of course. Uh, <laughs> one, two, you said three, from four. the gate, yeah, I did. I really was not feeling that, but I got seven. someone had to do it. Cool. Yeah, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't fond of it. Um, how so? What were your reservations at the time? So at the time, working a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have had to make some time. Uh, yeah, sure, go. I had to make some time on my schedule. I was working like three jobs and I thought I was pulling away from some things that was important that I was trying to get done. Did it feel like your relationship wasn't equally yoked? So I'm gonna do some church stuff. Yeah. Some, uh, some commentary. I wouldn't say it wasn't equally yoked. I think mm -hmm. I think our ideologies were very similar. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think our ideologies were very similar. Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to do that? Yeah. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. Um, but I think for her, it was more so of a power play. Oh. Yeah. Looking back at it, it feels that way, or do you feel there was always. No, then I always yeah. felt that way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then I always felt that way. Um, if you felt that way, why'd you marry the person, if you don't mind me asking? So. Should I go ahead? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just a beautiful move. You, sorry, you put down the three. You look confused. Can I do that? Nah, that. You okay. That. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I probably should have did that first, right? Is that how I go? Um, well, yeah, technically you should have did that first, but since you didn't do yeah. that, <laughs> you can do it now. All right. Yeah. And it's the same number, so I can't do that, right? You could do that. Yeah. And that? Yeah, you could do that too. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. They said I gotta say Uno. Brandon said, okay. All right, so is that you officially saying Uno? Yeah. Okay, because if you don't, you would have to draw two. Yeah, so All that's right, me cool. officially. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's been a while since I played, yeah. Nah, you're good. Um, so. What's your turn? If I put it down, it gotta be the same color. It has to be the same color. Also, nah. That's how it works. All right, boom. Have you played a lot of Uno or not? Not in recent. Okay, no. Okay. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry. I just I feel like, like I was like well, I know he's not about to do that because mm -mm. the first time you did, I should have made you draw too. But it's like we didn't go over the rules. That's why I asked, hey, what what rules do you follow? Because yeah. like, if you make a mistake, there's a difference between we went over the rules and you made a mistake versus you just doing whatever. Because when I played before, we didn't do the, you mm -hmm. had to say Uno, they just, yeah. you know, but I know when I played with them, it's like you got to say Uno. Usually what we do is if someone puts down a draw two, if you have a draw two and you put it down, it just goes back to them and they got to draw four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Dang, yeah, short term, I ain't got nothing. <clears throat> but yeah, why'd you why'd you get married to that person if you felt they were pulling power moves early in the dynamic? I feel like mm-hmm. in most relationships, you kind of have that dynamic where, um, you know, how you having sure, that. Actually, yeah, you know how you having that discussion about you know the certain things you may do in a relationship, mm-hmm. um, and you're probably like in denial of it, like oh, I don't do that. Yeah, do I do that? I don't do that. <laughs> do, and I do that? Yeah, and y'all having that discussion. Is that me? Do I do that? You I went mean, already. I mean, yeah, yeah, you go. All right, and y'all having that discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, and so her thing was okay. Well, I'm telling you that you uh, do certain things, so I want to get in front of like a mediator, or a counselor, mm-hmm. so we can um, hash these things Green. out. Green. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I don't think it was unfair if mm-hmm. if that person's trying to get down to the. You drew four. No. One, two. Three, four, boom. I didn't get that color yet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Um, yeah, so I think I think uh I think it's fair mm-hmm. as a couple to try to to try to get down to whatever mm-hmm. the issue is. Yeah. Um, and so I went along with it, went to the counseling. Mm-hmm. Um and when you go to counseling, you know the counselor gives you, they give you like some exercises to do mm-hmm. within a relationship. Yeah. At 23. Yeah, yeah, at 23, <laughs> which is all, mm-hmm. which was all new to me. But if you're in love with that person yeah. and you want to make it work, you're going to do whatever it takes to, uh, to be a willingness to make that relationship work. Yeah. You, were you done? Yeah. Keep going. I had fat as hell. All right, uh, I'm getting fat too. <laughs> we obviously both not on the diet in this game. <laughs> yeah. So, but the, the issue for me mm-hmm. started to arise, and this is kind of where I figured I was like a power player. Mm-hmm. Um, when I would do certain exercises, and then she wouldn't participate. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. So, like the counselor would say, "Okay." So when you guys did exercises, you would do exercises in therapy. Yeah, so the therapist would say they give you certain uh, projects or um, things to say. Was that this with the therapist or with the pastor before marriage? Because you got two. So both times you noticed this trend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, keep going. Uh, yeah, I noticed it way more the second time. Mm-hmm. Um, hold on, wait. Uh, got another. Yeah, I noticed it the second time way more. The first time it's like a suspicion, like, is this what's going on? Mm-hmm. You know, that's like a little disbelief. Nah, that can't be what's that can't be what's going on. That's not what I'm seeing. Yeah. And second time was like confirmation. It was like, nah, this is what this is what you're doing. So um, she was playing chess, and you were trying to be loyal to the idea of what you guys were. Better relationship, to absolutely. Good. Uh, color. Let's make it red. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. How did that make you feel? Uh, like I was being manipulated. Okay. Like then you start feeling like a punk. Mm-hmm. Then you start feeling like you're being suckered. And uh, that's not that's not good for um. You remember the sh- the movie The Other Guys? Yes, I do. You I remember the pimp scene? What did he call himself? Uh, Gator. Yeah. Wait. Get it on. No, is that this? Yeah, yeah, no. you know, you know the line I'm talking about. Oh yeah, get it on play no yeah. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I started feeling. <laughs> I can't get over him rubbing the knife against his face. Man, no doubt, yeah. <laughs> get it on play no uh, shit. This is my turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uno, uno out. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So you start feeling like mm-hmm. you're being manipulated, boy. You. You had you come on, bro. You was there. What? Yeah, you, I just got some of those. You come, fam. Red. Draw two. Skip. Draw two. Well, red. Wait, is that one mine? Skip. Yeah, that was mine. Yeah, you could have done red. What I put down? Reverse blue. Skip. Skip. Draw two. Draw two. That would have been uno, uno, out. That's it right there. That's the four. You you had boom, that. Boom, boom. Oh, I know I can do that yeah. combo. Okay. Yeah, because once you, once you get a wild, you have the gap, right? So it's like, I right, got the color. I just got to see. 
Hopefully oh, so I can't stack them too. Okay. No, you could, but you just do it one at a time because, like, each time you draw two, you technically can't go. Okay. So when you draw two, you forfeit a turn. Okay. Yeah. Is it? Is it when you draw two, you forfeit a turn? Yeah, no, nah, that's how it is because for the other couple of games, that's how I've been playing it. Yeah. You having to know what time is it? We got 5.45. Okay, cool. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. You begin to feel like you're being manipulated in this game. Mm -hmm. um, Did you want to shuffle Jack every now and then? No. Nah. You want me just, okay. No, nah, you're right. good. Because <laughs> right. I'm um, a shitty shuffler, but like. I am too, I'll that's why I was like. I'll give it like, some effort. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you begin to feel manipulated, and you never want to feel like you're being manipulated by your partner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I, and I brought that up to the counselor, the, the, the second the one. Second one. Yeah, when we were married. For the first counselor, was that a pastor of her choosing? Yes, absolutely. I'll say it was hers. You know, you know <laughs> when we had that conversation, what I said, man. I mean, you didn't know me back in the day until, like, what's this, the most recent? This our fifth year being together in terms of homies? Yeah. It's been fifth, a while. fifth to sixth year? And it's like, when it comes to counselors, you're supposed to keep that separate from church and state. So, like, from the folks I've done work with, they told me when it comes to counseling, especially couples counseling, mm -hmm. Technically, if possible, you should seek to get a counselor that both of you haven't seen because naturally people are going to have a bias yeah. towards who they're with. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I, who the hell was I talking to about this? Someone recently. Oh, our boy. Same the counselor? about. Counselor guy? Nah, our boy that pulls up on us sometimes. Oh, gotcha. I know you're talking about. We'll be doing the tech stuff with us. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. He told me that, you know, he's talking to the counselor to try to convince the counselor to let his wife know what's going on. And I was like, well, that's technically not the counselor's job to listen to your suggestions. She's technically supposed to do what she thinks may be right for the situation. Yeah. He's like, but but she's being such a bad person in our relationship. It's I was terrible. like, I hear you, but once the counselor shows favoritism to suggestions, mm -hmm. she doesn't want to go down that road. And also, the counselor might feel like you may be playing a part in why your partner is the way that she is too. Yeah, feeling the <clears throat> All right, good. Top of the key. Mm -hmm. That's the top of the morning move, top of the morning. <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. once I started feeling manip manipulated, I mentioned it to the counselor, and they do this little. Should I go or you go? It's no, I got to pull. Wait, did you go? I did the draw too. I drew cards. Did you yeah. draw any cards? Not, not yet. All right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she'll go. Yeah, so once I mentioned it to the counselor, mm -hmm. um. They did this little gaslighting thing. Like, um, well, let me get some background. Mm -hmm. So the second time around, mm -hmm. um, she had postpartum when we went. Postpartum depression. Depression, correct. Was that what brought you guys to counseling? Should I go? Uh, yeah, that, it was recommended. By, um, it was recommended by our therapist mm -hmm. that we, you know, seek counseling. So that, you know, I can understand what she was going through and how to deal with it. Yeah. Uh, when you were trying your best to be a good partner. Correct. Yeah. So, went through with the counseling. Um, in the counseling, um, I mentioned to her that, you know, there's certain things that she does where I don't know if this is part of the postpartum. Where I don't know if she's having an episode yeah. or I don't know if she's doing this on purpose. Yeah. Um, God damn, I'm glad I had three of <laughs> did, did you have any draw tools to put down? Um, Cause you might you might want to fight back. No, 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 no. no. I'm getting whooped. I'm getting whooped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting whooped. That what was just, that six? I was like, yeah. I, should, I should give you an opportunity mm -hmm. to fight back. <clears throat> All right, let me see what I got up in here. Mm -hmm. This is a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Um, Actually, no, I shouldn't be sorry. I'm competitive. Yeah. Okay, can I? Yep, yeah, reverse 
Here's the teal. Yep. Wait, so you had a one? Yeah, but I wanted to get that off first. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you had a one with the other one. Which so one? you held on to that one. You see this one right here? Yeah. You put down this red one. I put down this blue one. So you held on to your red one. Well, I put down that one? You put down this one and I put down this one. And yeah. then you put down this reverse and you put down this blue one. Are you not putting your cards together and organizing them correctly? No, they're not organized at all. <laughs> they're not organized at all. <laughs> all right. so, so let me get them right. together. Because I got, yeah. It's I, my turn. Yeah, because I, I just that drew is, six. That is wild. <laughs> that, is, that is wild as hell. Let's see. <laughs> Boom. All right. All right, go ahead. I'm saying. What we got, what we got. Oh. Yeah, so. No, no. Perfect. Oh my god, that hand looks so good. Mm -hmm. That hand looks so good. You had so much going for you, man. What we got going? Every time you put your hand down, I just I see I see the path out. Yeah. I'm still learning the combos. I forgot that I can go yeah. five, six, seven, eight. My bad, but keep talking. Yeah, so once I mentioned it to the, the counselor that I feel like she's like using um, her diagnosis mm -hmm. kind of to manipulate me, mm -hmm. there was like a point in time where I was being gaslit. Like, so when she does this, uh, how do you feel about it? And do you blame her for this? And do you blame her for that? Is that what the that's what the saying to you? That's what the therapist said. In the yeah. open conversation you guys were having? Yes. With her in the room? Uh, absolutely. But yeah. these were also exercises she wasn't being a part of. It took a while for um, the therapist to catch on to what was going on. Uh, yeah, so she would give us an assignment uh, such as, you know, um, whenever you guys are having a discussion or you're about to have an argument, mm -hmm. say something like, I feel like you're not hearing what I'm saying, or I feel right. There so, talk. Yeah, yeah. So I hate that that really <laughs> became a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. And now corporations are using it on like their people that they're letting go left and right, and it's like that's not the time. Yeah, that's not okay. Yeah, that's not okay. You're talking about someone's livelihood and what they use to pay the bill. Mm -hmm. You don't. You're not. You don't get to empathize with me as the person that's firing me. Yeah. Just. Just do the job. Yeah. That's not okay. I got a family what, what to feed. What that does is that turns this experience of me being fired into something backhanded. Like, I wish there was more I could do, family of the person firing me. Yeah, you cannot <laughs> do this. You cannot make this decision you right know, now. Yeah. As someone that probably doesn't know my name or have a real relationship with me, you shouldn't feel that way and we shouldn't have, don't create opportunities for me to have a discussion knowing that there's no way out now that this decision has been made. Yeah. And if you are someone that knows me, at least let me know why I'm being fired for real, for real. So I can like take that with me as I'm going into the next job. Yeah. That was seven right there. I think it was six. Six, yeah. Because moments like that really does create imposter syndrome. If you aren't confident mm -hmm. who you are, you haven't had enough experiences to reinforce who you were trying to be. Give me a second, one more card. Yeah. All right. And I don't know. It's, it's a nasty world out here, bro. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I probably should give a little background. Mm -hmm. So we had an incident where her and I had gone to an argument before I went to work. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, that was a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, man, he's still throwing out some cards. <laughs> he's not really slowing down. Yeah, her and I had gone to an argument mm -hmm. before I went into work. Mm -hmm. And this is the manipulation part where... Shut up. Yeah, she called CPS mm -hmm. to tell them, hey, uh, he and I just... Blue. All right. Mm -hmm. He and I just got into an argument. Uh, I told him not to leave. Um, I'm here with the kids, and I am threatening to hurt them. I was four. I got you. Yeah, and I am threatening to hurt them. Wow. 
Now she told them that she told me this before I left. Hey. <laughs> I was just getting a good hand too. It's <laughs> God damn. I was just getting a good hand. Yeah. Yeah, um. Wow, let's do blue. Mm -hmm. mm. You look like you're working through a jungle. I am. It can all be the same color, color right? Nah, oh, it gotta be yeah, four or five. You, you picked blue. We got Technically, it. I was supposed to go. Oh, After go ahead. I picked blue, but you put four. But that's fine. I'll overlook it. Okay. Yeah, so she called CPS, told them that uh, the kids were in harm mm -hmm. while I was on my way to work. No. All right, CPS calls me and then say, um, your wife told you that she wasn't in a good mental state and you left her at home with the kids. And so now CPS is getting involved and they're like, we're gonna come take the children, right? Mm -hmm. While I'm in route what to work. Was this? This was like 2015, 2016. And a lot of us didn't have a good handle on the concept of mental health and how it could be used and where it's present and things to be careful of or be aware of. No, so that was a learning curve. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Because when you're dealing with postpartum, mm -hmm. there's like stages to it. Is so that th your move? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, you had a green one. <laughs> yeah. You want to hear something wild? When you put the four down, I didn't look at my hand. I just knew I had a green card. And when I picked the green reverse, I was mm. like, yo, you have a four in your hand. I drew the card already, though. Oh, okay. So yeah. I was like, nah, yeah. I gotta wait. And hopefully I <laughs> yeah. still got a good opportunity. It stayed green. <laughs> God damn it, I should have picked blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, this is kind of nice. I, I could do this. I'm sorry. Tell the story because this is a messed up story. Nah, yeah, no, it's, it's, that's why it's hard for me to focus. So mm -hmm. she called Child Protective Services. Yep. She told him that she told him that she was going to punch mm -hmm. my youngest in the head. Right. Now, mind you, when we was in the house, she didn't tell me none of this. None of this, what she's telling them, did she tell me? It's a recorded call, too. Yeah. So this is, this is where I started saying, okay, she's like trying to manipulate me and do. I don't know what her end goal Not is. You, you and the authorities. Yeah, yeah, she used the authorities. You know, it's like a power play. They use the authorities to kind of get at you. When you say they, do you mean women or just her and how she was going about stuff? It would be her. I've seen it done with mm -hmm. other, but I don't want to lump yeah. everybody in. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. got you. I just, <laughs> I just want to yeah. clarify that because, because someone's yeah. going to hear that. What you mean yeah, yeah, by yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, I um, just, you know. So her specifically in this mm -hmm. instance, um, mm -hmm. Seen other, I seen men do it also. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So anytime you get into an argument, get mm -hmm. out and then call the cops. Yeah. Right. Both of, both of your names on the lease. Yeah. <laughs> what are we, um, are we getting out exactly? Yeah. Yeah. And so in this instance, it was CPS getting involved. Mm -hmm. Um. So Child then they came. Services. Yeah. Yeah. So then they came. They took the children. Mm, right. I know that that had to be heartbreaking. I know that yeah. had to be hard. Yeah, I, it's probably very hard to find forgiveness after something like that happens. It's almost impossible. Yeah, it's almost impossible. I went through like a, I went through a rage. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, ain't, I don't want to say too much on camera, but mm -hmm. there was certain stuff I wanted to do to CPS mm -hmm. for thinking they could come take my kids yeah. from me. Um, so yeah, now nah, those what was, was. What was the family doing at this time? Did they were they aware of what was going like on? Like the in laws, my yeah. side. So. Their family w was aware of what was going on, um, but they weren't that supportive. Mm -hmm. So when we had a meeting with CPS, you know, typically they want to find a home. Not about to make sure so. Yeah, they want to find a home for the children to be able to go to mm -hmm. before they put them in custody of someone else. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So yeah, um, they had an opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. And they didn't, um, so they would have went into the system, into the custody of someone else. But my grandmother mm -hmm. um, took on a responsibility. Bless her heart. Yeah, my grandma. That's my best friend. Mm -hmm. um, if I was your best friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Can I be your best friend. Yeah, my grandma. So she took on the responsibility. Mm -hmm. And. Uh,
she took the babies under her tutelage, mm -hmm. which I wouldn't want them to be with anybody mm -hmm. else. This is a nine, right? Yeah. Mm. And so, um, during that time, I had to, I had to uh, pretty much work on get my children back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, I had to work on uh, get my children back with the courts, mm -hmm. which was a tedious. Um, Tedious process, tedious process that I did yeah. not want to be a part of. Yeah, had a terrible judge. Yeah, you know the judge was terrible when, when CPS makes a request that the children be returned to the home, and the judge says, "Nah, let's wait a little longer." Yeah, had a terrible judge. What are, what are we waiting on exactly? Had a terrible judge. Yeah. What are, what are we waiting on exactly? That's crazy. Yeah, so that was a nightmare. Yellow, yellow, yellow. We're just gonna stop in the cars, let you tell yeah, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, we had to we had to wait like another six months. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of, I guess they wanted to see how therapy went, how the couples counseling went, how um, her and I were interacting as parents, how the visits went. Um, if you went back, do you think you would have blown it all up and just fought for custody of the kid separate from your wife, like having your wife and keeping mm -hmm. her by you, knowing everything that you know now? I probably would have split a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like, would you have split after that first call? The first call. Some time? So the, the first, first call. call. Had I not, if yeah, I would have, the first call. If the first call was probably the biggest red flag you've ever seen. Yeah, if I if I would have knew then what I know now, mm -hmm. right. But again, there's that there's that middle ground where it's like she has postpartum, which is similar to bipolar. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it to where when she has that episode, that person is not the person I married. Right. Yeah. In their episode. In their episode. But when the episode is not happening. That's where it gets tricky because mm -hmm. it's like I don't want to feel like I'm abandoning yeah. my wife when she needs me the most. Who she was at that time. Yeah. But then there's that part when she's not having the episode where it's like. Okay, are you back to normal? Mm -hmm. Are you having an episode and I'm just not sure of it? Mm -hmm. Am I being manipulated? Mm -hmm. And it's like a weird gray area. Yeah. It's like a it's like a weird gray area. Yeah. Um and it's hard to figure out. So you kind of you kind of sit back a little bit and you try to you try to watch it. Mm -hmm. Cuz again, there'd be a moment where we're not arguing, everything is going great. Cold study. And then all of a sudden we're arguing about dumb stuff. Mm -hmm. And you don't catch it. Yeah. When, when you first start having experiences with people who have like mental health issues, you don't catch um, the gradual progression mm -hmm. the slow of the episode, right? Yeah. You but know. Then when that thing is there, when that thing is there. It ain't until it's full blown and yeah. it's too late, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and there definitely need to be more uh, classes on that. I, I took some classes during the during the birthing, because mm -hmm. uh, we took Dula. some birthing classes, yeah. Classes. And they kind of mention it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's in passing, or you don't. It don't really hit home. They kind of mention postpartum. Do you think there needs to be either a platform or that's expressed more, or when the class is happening, that there needs to be a deeper dive for educating the partner about what postpartum looks depression like. looks yeah. like, mm -hmm. and what that may lead to, even if it's hypotheticals. Yeah, definitely. Um, what it looks like, mm -hmm. right? Because when you see, when you see them off in the corner having crying spells, mm -hmm. you don't know what that is. Yeah. You just, I was working three jobs at that time, so sometimes I didn't see the progression. It's hard to pay attention when you're working three jobs. Yeah, so you yeah. might see it in the middle stage. You mm -hmm. might catch it in the beginning and not know it. You might catch it in the middle mm -hmm. or the end, depending on where you got off on your shift or would during you that week. Who you were before, you would have made space for her if she would have approached you about it because in your story it doesn't i don't feel like you're blaming her i feel like this person kept hiding this thing from you and then when it would pop up it would be all your responsibility so you keep fighting this fight 
that you don't know you're supposed yeah. to have weapons for, you're not really prepped for. Well, and anytime something hits the fan, it's a you thing. And you're like, fam, I didn't even know we had a fan running in the background. I was trying to figure out what that smell was for a while, actually. Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I think it probably was uh, challenging for the both of us. Mm -hmm. Like me trying to figure it out and her even trying to figure out what she's going through herself. Mm -hmm. And then there is a part where she kind of keeps stuff from me right to this day yeah to this day like there was yeah. there was an incident where right after we gave a baby 